The fourth major obstacle to peace is Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who has all too frequently bowed to the demands of extremists like ministers Smotrich and Ben Gavir and the settlers in the West Bank. If President Net Prime Minister Netanyahu's current coalition remains in power after the war begins to wind down and continues to pursue dangerous and inflammatory policies that test existing U.S. standards for assistance, then the United States will have no choice but to play a more active role in shaping Israeli policy by using our leverage to change the present course. And now, as a result of those inflamed tensions in both Israeli and Palestinian communities, people on all sides of this war are turning away from a two-state solution, including Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, who in recent weeks has set out loud repeatedly what many have long suspected, by outright rejecting the idea of Palestinian statehood and sovereignty. As the highest ranking Jewish elected official in our government, and as a staunch defender of Israel, I rise today to say unequivocally, this is a grave mistake for Israel, for Palestinians, for the region, and for the world.